Hello everyone, here I am again and for my second video on craft fair ideas. This one is actually requested. It's the second video that I do because it was requested by you, my subscribers. I showed many, I'll have the link below to the video that I had with many, many, many different projects, but mainly uh, hand sanitizers and many different types of notebooks with pens, without pens. And I asked you which um, tutorials you, you wanted. And you said, please, hand sanitizers and notebooks, the one with the pen. So that, that one is done. I'll have the link below for you. And today I'm going to teach you how to do these two types of uh, packaging. I call it packaging for hand sanitizer. So basically, you're going to turn something in like this into this one. This one is what you see from the sides. I'm going to teach you how to do this one. And the one that was mostly requested was this one because it is really cute. It stands like this on your table, so it's perfect. And here's what it looks like on the side. So a very nice project. I'm going to teach you how to do both, okay? So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. So we will start with the easiest. Not that the other one is complicated, but I'm going to show you how to make this one. It is quite easy. So basically what you need is, and as you know, on my channel, I like to give you the opportunity to understand what I did so that you can apply it to another size in case you have like a different hand sanitizer. So basically guys, what you do with this one is, you're going to just have a very long strip of paper. And what you do is, you look at your, you, the measurements that you need is, you measure how wide it is. In my case, it's one inch and three quarters. So you, all you do is you add one quarter of an inch. So in my case, my paper ended up being two inches, okay? But again, I just wanna teach you what I did and how I got to the size of the paper so that you can use with whatever hand sanitizers because they are different, okay? So, and how do you know how long the paper is? Again, you're going to measure how tall your hand sanitizer is, and then you're going to add one inch and three quarters for the, for the top, because as you can see here, it is much taller than the height of your hand sanitizer. So that's it. You add one inch and three quarters here for the height, and here just one quarter of an inch more. But of course, as you can see, it's you have to double that, double this, and then you just add uh, the width, not the width, the, the depth. <laughs> so you're going to measure this, and you're going to add it here because you need the height once, see? Height, and then how the depth, and then the height again. That's it. Very easy because basically it looks something like this, right? And I usually cut here with a punch border, but that's it. That's the depth. This is the width, height. Very easy. So for me, let me show you. I'll bring my paper here because I already cut it. It's two inches, as you can see here, two inches. And I need to, and my uh, height, so how tall is this first part, because you're basically going to do this, right? So how tall is it? So what I need to do here is to score on five and one quarter, because that's my size. That's how tall I need it. And then here I'm going to, and the, the width of mine is one, let me just show you here. So this, you, you measure this, that's, it's one inch. So I did five and one quarter, so it's going to be six and one quarter. And that's it, you're done. Basically, all you need to do now is just to crease it, burnish your, yeah, there you go, burnish your paper. 
and you're done. But here's the thing, but how do you keep it? Because if you just close this, it's going to fall, right? So what you do to keep it glued to the paper is you're going to make a strap of paper. This is one inch. That's tall enough. And you're just going to go around your hand sanitizer like this. And you're going to glue this. You just make, make like a belly band, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this using my very strong glue. You wait a little bit because this is what's going to keep it there, okay? The other thing that I do too, to, so that it doesn't move anywhere, is that I add a little piece of double-sided foam adhesive here, and that also helps it glue here. I can't find it, I brought it. Oh, there you are. So, here you are. So I get one little piece of double-sided foam adhesive and I put it right here. This is going to help it stop it from sliding. Before we glue this, I have this punch here that I use a lot. It's for bookmarks basically and for tags and that's what I'm going to do. But you can use any kind of punch you have. If you don't have this one, that's fine. This one I, I bought, it's a Stampin' Up! punch, but you can use any, if you have one of those border paper punches, you can use those too. So see, because it looks much nicer, any kind of bookmark, or if you don't have any paper punch, guys, you can just maybe round the corners, that's up to you, not a problem. So here's what we're going to do. You are going to place this right in the middle to make sure that it's centered so it doesn't move anywhere. That's good. Press it down so it's glued. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there, just to make sure that it, it will glue to, your, to the front and to the back. Just a little bit. It doesn't need much. And then you just fold it and hold it for a while until it, it glues. See, that's why on, when you look at the side, you have this belly band here. So this is fine, almost done. All we need to do now is add a ribbon. And of course, if you want to embellish it, that's up to you. I usually do, I'll show you what I did to my other ones, but here I, I'm just going to show you how to do the ribbon. I, I basically just do two knots and that's fine and it stays up. There you go, done. And I'm done with mine. I usually add something else to the front. This one I want because I just wanted to show you how to make it. And then you can use something like this, okay? Now let's go to the second one. Second one is not complicated either. I promise you. But I want to show you again so that you are able to do it with any size of sanitizer that you have, okay? So what to do with the second one is... You're going to do basically in front is the same thing. You're going to add one, four, one quarter of an inch so that you don't see the sides of the sanitizer. Let me show you what it looks like sideways because this will help you understand what you're going to cut, okay? This is it, guys. Very easy. You're going to have, let me use another color here. So you see, this is sideways. Let me just show you one. See? So what you need is the height, again, the depth, and then the height up to this, to the cap, okay? Because you see, this is one height. This is, you need to know this measure here, and that's it. You're done. Very easy. So here's what you need. So you're going to have the cap, right? Like coming down a little bit. And then, it's not working this pen, so I'm just going to use black again. So you're going to have the cap, and then on the sides, you're going to have your sanitizer. So that's what it is, okay? Very easy. Again, you're going to add one quarter 
here. And how do you know the size of the paper, the final size of the paper? What you, it's going, again, it's going to be a long strip of paper. No big deal, really. That in my case, it was, again, two inches because mine is one and three quarters. So you're going to add one quarter, comes to two, right? So how do you know these measurements here? The first one, which is this, I, I, we're looking at the, let me show you, I have it cut here so that you can see, yeah. So see, that's the paper. We're going to score one, two, three, four times. And then we're just going to fold it like this. So the first one that we're going to score is this little one here. This one is one, it's half an inch. I always do half an inch. Then the second one here is when you look at your, I don't have any more here. Let me just get this out so that it's easier for you to understand what I'm doing. And then you can just use whatever hand sanitizer you have because there will be different, different sizes for sure. So see, here is the hand sanitizer. So basically it's going to be like this. So you need to know this here, how tall it is up to the cap. And that's it. So the paper will be, here is half an inch. This second one here is, see, because it's like this. So the second one is the depth. So the depth here, you don't change anything. So whatever depth it is for you. The height, the second, so that's the first, the second, here it's the height up to the cap again. You just have to, the cap will be out. Here you don't change anything, you don't change anything. The only thing that you add a little bit is to the long, this long one here, which is what you see when it's, let me show you, see? So you need to add something here because it needs to be taller than the, the complete height. So you measure how high it is up to the top and then you add one inch and three quarters, okay? So plus one inch and three quarters. So that is basically it, guys. So that's, that's what we're gonna do. So let me just, I already have my paper here. I already scored and I'll just show you how we are going to put this together, okay? Let me get this pen out of the way. So I already scored mine. Mine I scored on, it, I mean, mine, mine I, I don't know if it's worth it telling you because that's the size of my hand sanitizer. But if you buy it at Dollar Tree, just know that it's half an inch, one and three quarters, four and a half, five and three quarters, and then here, ten. So the size was ten and a quarter. So that's ten and a quarter, the full size here, by two. 10 and a quarter by two, so that's it. So basically the only thing that you need to do that is not happening here, oh, before I forget, this is the size of, we're going to decorate, this is just for decoration, you don't have to do it, but I like to see these ones. I always had decoration here, here, and here. That's what we're gonna do. And the sizes here are three, let me just zoom in for you. So three and a quarter, sorry, three and three quarters. Let me just zoom. Oh, there. Three and three quarters by one and three quarter. The second one is two and a half by one and three quarter, always because the the width here is the same. And the other one is one and one and three quarters. So one, two and a half, three and three quarters, okay? So what we're going to do now is let's glue this together before we cut because we're going to do one little cut here and you will understand why, okay? So this goes here. So the one will go here. My house is moving. I live in a boat home and it moves, guys. 
right now it's moving a lot wow <laughs> it's moving a lot so there you are and the last one this is very important so you're going to glue the little piece here the other one in front and the other one goes here to the back because that's what you see see so you're going to glue it here actually I'm going to leave it because I'm going to punch here so I'm going to leave some space here because I'm going to punch it so again let me just put some glue and what I do is this is the bottom here and I just go a little bit over the bottom give it more space on the top because I'm going to punch this part here so let me just zoom out for you guys there you go so this is done and again I'm going to use my paper punch just to add this nice border here should have been it shouldn't have been much lower that was a mistake but anyway just for you to learn how to make it the last thing we're going to do and this is very important because this cap has to go through right so I use my one inch punch here and I kind of eyeball it see because I have to have faith when you do these things and you go believe yourself there you go and yeah, pretty good <laughs> pretty good so this is how you do it so let me just get the there is the hand sanitizer again I use it I use this just to keep it in place you put this through and the last thing that you're going to this is you have to do this before you glue the last part which is this tab here so you put a whole bunch of glue here and then just I just stand it up like this and I come and I it's good to look sideways to make sure that it doesn't go in an angle like this so I just push it up until it is straight see it's like a 90 degree angle so I just use my bone folder here to push it down and it's done see not complicated to make and I'm just going to add this little I have this paper punch that I absolutely love that punches this little button here let me show you it's a Martha Stewart I use it all the time I'll try to find it online and again all this material I will have it linked below I also put some double-sided adhesive double-sided foam adhesive and I'm just going to place the button here press it down and there you are so here you are this is the one that I just taught you and the other one that you learned before and before I forget guys I like to give uh, credit to the where I learned this one I kind of did it on my own and there are many many um, tutorials kind of like this one I saw it in different YouTube channels but this one that's more elaborate I saw it uh, on Karen McNall's uh, YouTube channel so I'd love to just thank Karen and I will have the link to her uh, YouTube channel below so you can check her channel and I'm, I'm very grateful that I found it I absolutely love it. I think it's the best uh, that I've found so far and I hope you have learned and you enjoyed please do subscribe to my channel like because it helps my channel grow and leave your comments if you have any questions I hope you enjoyed it and this one guys just remember I should have pushed it down it doesn't look very nice see that's that's how it's supposed to do to look like so I'm just gonna get another one here thank you so much guys go to your craft room have some fun and if you have any questions please do let me know okay thank you Thank you.